Hey, this is Safrevavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're gonna learn a fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of California Dreaming. Now, it's a wonderful, wonderful song. Um, and uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the vocal part um, is actually comprised of the chords. The, the vocal parts actually play the chords. They actually sing the chords. So it's actually a, a, a chord solo. It's, it's a fingerstyle arrangement, but it's a chord solo. So it's mostly chords. First, let me play it for you, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, and we're gonna learn this. I'm gonna show you exactly how to play this. Um, so it goes like this. Okay, so um, this song, as I said, is comprised of chords. It's a chord solo. So you've got C sharp minor. Um, you've got B, shaped like a G chord. It's a G chord up to seven on the bass. So you just bar the fourth fret and play seven with your pinky on the E bass. Um, you've got A shapes of A, you've got the regular bar um, A, and you've got this A, which is just a part of the bar, it's just 5, 6, and 7 on the B, G, and D strings. You've got, um, you've got G sharp, and you've got G sharp sus4, which looks like an A that went up a string. Okay. Sharp, as I said before, and you've also got E shaped like C with your bass on seven. So it's basically you're a human capo on the fourth fret. You can use a capo on the fourth fret, but um, I prefer to bar because um, it's good practice. It's a good practice for the fingers and. Um, and a capo gives you a different sound uh, than when you bar. When you bar the strings, you get a different sound, and I like that sound. Uh, the capo gives an open sound, while the bar gives you a, f a fingered sound, uh, a fingered fret, a, f a fingered fret sound, uh, if that makes any sense to you. Um, it's a different sound. I like the bar sound. If you find this too difficult um, and you don't want to take the challenge and practice this, you can use a capo. Nobody's gonna blame you. Everybody uses capo. Um, I just like to bar. I don't know why. I like to have all of my um, fretboard open for um, for playing. So uh, let's begin. You begin with C sharp minor, and you play this. Okay. Uh, you bar the fourth fret and you prepare for C sharp minor, but you take your second finger off and you play G string, B string, G string. Okay, so it's six, four, six. It's C sharp minor, uh, it's, C, it's uh, actually C sharp sus two. Um, so it's, and then you take the pinky off and you play four on the G string, okay? And you play C sharp minor twice. You um, most of the time in this piece, in this arrangement, you play the B string, G string, and D string. Okay, the B, G, and D strings as your harmony. Okay, um, because the E string is used for the high notes, the end of the line notes, as you're gonna see. So it's C sharp minor. 
then it's B, G shaped. Okay, with seven on the bass and four on B, G, and D. Then A, um, F shaped, five, six, and seven. Okay, so that the A bass can keep on ringing while you do this. Okay, uh, because if we did this, we'd have to take uh, we'd have to take this into a solo, and then we have no bass going. So you use this A this time because the A keeps ringing while you do this. Okay, you take the seven and six on G and D strings, um, two frets up, then back. Okay, so it's um, eight and nine and then six and uh, seven again and then four on the G string and then it's G sharp now you play G sharp once and then you turn it into G sus four and you play E, B, and G strings. Remember, I said end of the line, this is the end of the line. And this guy is great. So, and then you play G sharp. So it's, got it? Again, C sharp minor. G, uh, G shaped B. A, G sharp, G sus four, G sharp sus four, G sharp. Got it? The sus four you play four times. G sharp. Okay, so the first line goes like this. As you've seen, I've made a mistake and I've played the bar A, so I had no bass going. It's supposed to be like this. Okay. Um, but it sounds good either way. Um, it's just a small nuance uh, if you want to keep the bass going or not. If you play A, you can just keep going. Um, it doesn't matter that the A bass isn't there. Um, you can play it either way. Now, um, second line. Okay, you still bar the fourth fret and you do this. E string, then on the B string you do uh, seven, five, four. Okay. And then it's C shaped E. Okay. And then it's G sharp 7. I forgot to mention that. Uh, G sharp 7 is just G sharp, and you take the pinky uh, down to 7 on the B string. Okay, and it's G sharp 7. So E. Uh, and this time you pick um, E string, B string, and D string. And G string. And then on the G sharp 7, you pick E, B, and G again. And then you're back at C sharp minor. And you're back at picking B, G, and D. Okay? So. Okay, on the G sharp 7, you can also pick B, uh, G, and D. Okay, you don't have to have this note on the G sharp 7. And then, quickly, A. Um, I say quickly because you have, uh, you just pick the C sharp minor once. Okay, you pick it four times, A. And as you can hear, you play E, B, and G. And you move it one fret back to G sharp, 
and then G sharp sus4, G sharp again. Okay, so it's A, G sharp, G sus4, uh, G sharp sus4, G sharp. And you pick E, B, and G all the way. Okay, so the second line is... for him to decide where he wants to sit. Oh, okay. So. Now, uh, the next line begins with this. So you can either solo it or just um, keep the bar on and play six on the D string and four on the G string. And you play D, D, G, D. Okay, but um, a solo is appropriate here. You can slide into it. And then you play uh, the first line again. Okay, it's uh, C sharp minor. B, A. G sharp to sus4 to G sharp. Okay, so the second line is, uh, the third line is Again, I am bored. Again, what kind of role model am I if I teach you and I make the mistake myself? Uh, it, again, um, the same solo as on the second line okay it's four on the E string and on the B string it's seven five four and then it's C sharp minor to B to A and then it's the second lines ending A to G sharp to G sharp sus4 to G sharp and um, that's basically it so let's play it again C sharp C sharp minor I mean. B A solo G sharp G sharp sus4 solo G sharp 7, C sharp minor A, G sharp, sus 4, G sharp, C sharp minor, B, A, solo, G sharp, G sharp sus 4, G sharp, second solo again, C sharp minor, B, A, And that's it. Pretty repetitive. So you've got actu you've actually got um, a first ending and a second ending that repeat themselves. If you've noticed, it's got uh, it's got a structure. It's it's um, first line with a first ending, then second line with a second ending, then the first line with the first ending again, but with a different solo at the beginning, and then it's the second no it's actually the first line again with the second ending so it's got a structure it's got a very nice structure so um i really hope you got it it's it's not that difficult um and with the capo on it's even easier so uh before you go getting this under your fingers don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, go to the website to download the tab from there and if you want to give something back for that lesson there's a donation button if you want to give something back i'd be very very grateful and for any donation whatsoever and i thank you in advance for it um so go download the tab and 
go get this under your fingers and have fun with this and um, play this to your heart's content and I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.